Jet 24. Here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Skies are mostly cloudy as head on into the afternoon. Here's the Meadville shot, uh, one I love to show during the fall. This is the Erie Auto Credit Sky Cam because of the trees around the Second District Elementary School. Really pretty at this time of year. Uh, we have bright yellows, bright reds, and uh, while the colors are starting to get past prime, still looking real nice even though we have overcast conditions at this hour. Now, we had some rain showers earlier. Not a lot, a couple hundredths of an inch in Erie. Showers out over the Cleveland area. Moving nor more north and east. Looks like they won't really affect us as we head on into the afternoon. We can't roll out a few showers. For the most part, we're going to be on the dry side. And not bad. Normal high for this time of year, around 55, and that's where the temperatures are now. Right at 55 in Corey, Edinburgh 52, McCain, Keith at 56. 53 in Summit, Venango Township, French Creek in the low 50s, but uh, Greenfield right now, LaRue a little warmer at 56. Joe at Northeast has 58, Dr. Tom Nagapier and the Mallory's in Fairview both at 57. 50 at Rockdale Township and uh, Woodcock Borough, Meadville, Sagertown, Westmead all at 53 degrees. Overcast over toward the east where temperature is 49 in Saybrook, that school spot there, Gary with that temperature. 51 in Pittsfield, 54 out toward Youngsville. The big picture here, at least in the region, a lot of clouds, some thinner clouds here and there, but it looks like there are those showers off toward the west, and that's where most of the showers will probably occur as we head on through the afternoon. Southerly flow, even with the clouds, boost near temperatures close to 60 as we head on into the balance of the afternoon. Now, tomorrow's election day, frontal system uh, is approaching, and uh, looks like uh, this front will pass through early tomorrow morning. The front itself uh, may give some thunder late tonight into early tomorrow morning and some fairly gusty winds. Not expecting severe. That will most likely be toward the southeast and into Virginia and the Carolinas. But for us, behind the front is actually the winds will get stronger. Could get gusts in the afternoon approaching 45. So as you head toward the poles, hold on to your hats, okay? But no snow and no uh, real nasty cold temperatures. So get out and vote and Enjoy the weather while you're at it. High pressure building behind it. We'll cool things down on Wednesday as it moves toward the east. Here comes the next Arctic outbreak slowly coming over the northern Great Lakes by Thursday. That cold air will come into our neck of the woods by Friday, giving us our first good threat of some lake effect snow for the season for this upcoming weekend. So, chance of showers all on the lake show here, but otherwise just breezy. Temperatures in the lower 60s on the inland side. You'll have mostly cloudy skies. Again, maybe a passing shower. Highs in the upper 50s in the Chautauqua Legane area. Mostly cloudy. Maybe a shower or two and highs for you in the mid 50s. Showers and some storms late tonight and at least into the morning hours on Election Day. We start out in the lower 60s. We fall into the 50s during the afternoon. And from your weather authority, we're looking at isolated showers possible on Wednesday. A cool one near 50. Temperatures steadily go down, probably not getting out of the 30s for the weekend. Not seeing much snow here in the area, but those who are in the snow belts uh, may get some accumulation. We'll be watching them more as we head on tour the rest of this week. Updates to that forecast, you can find them anytime. Check out our website, yourerie.com.